get a job in the world of technology and looked pretty good. Also, you know, it's interesting how we get into things. A lot of times people will ask me, hey, Keith, how did you, you know, how did you get into IT? What's your story? Well, there's actually several stories as part of that. And what I'd like to do in this series is go ahead and give you some of the highlights and also some of the good lessons that I learned along the way to not only get into, but also thrive in the world of IT. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click on subscribe and so you can get alerts every time that new videos come out. So my first inkling regarding information technology and computers was in high school. I graduated in 1982. And at that time at the high school in Camarillo, California, they had uh, a really rudimentary computer in the uh, in one of the labs. And it wasn't like computers today. This is before the IBM PC. Uh, these computers had a tape recorder attached to them. <laughs> I remember when I was working on a PC. I'm like the original gangster of IT. But um, these computers had a tape recorder. And what we do is we write programs. In those days, we start with BASIC. That's Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. Woohoo! I know an acronym. Um, anyway, we start with BASIC, make our simple programs. And then to save it, we would tell the, the computer to save. We'd hit record on the tape player. It would record and it would literally record the signals for our program. So later, if we wanted to load our program, we'd tell the computer to load. We'd hit play, rewind the tape, hit play, and that's how it would load into the computer. And that excited me. I, I, was, I was excited about computers and getting you know cause and effect, making changes and having something happen and drawing graphs and so forth. And it was a lot of fun. So. When I was in, uh, about a few years later, fast forward a few years, in the, like 1984-ish, I was a cashier at like a hardware store. It was in Ventura, California. And it wasn't the greatest job, but I had, I'd had some friends there and uh, we did our job and went home at night. And uh, one of my friends, Cecil and I, we, we watched these TVs that were directly across from us from the cashier stations. And there were these commercials for Control Data Institute, CDI, get a job in the world of technology. And it looked pretty good also. I noticed about that same time that our cash registers were electronic and there was a, and they had a digital component to them as well. And there was a technician who would come in from the outside, from somewhere away. He would come in to fix these registers and he had nice clothes. He had a fairly nice car, a lot nicer than the one I was driving. And he had a silver James Bond like briefcase. I thought to myself, wow, that guy looks like he has a pretty good job. And so one thing led to another and I actually took the interest that I had in computers and I called that number on the TV for Control Data Institute. Uh, and that's how my IT career started. So I called them, uh, I made an appointment, went down with my father and it was somewhere between four and $6,000. This was in 1984 um, for that training. Maybe it was 1985, around that, that time frame. So uh, I got a loan and I went to school and that's that was my beginning in the world of IT. And right as I got into that program, it's right when they were phasing out mainframes, training on mainframes like card readers and tapes and things. And it was their first few months of doing this new program on microcomputers. And I was kind of like a guinea pig for that. And I just, I just loved it. So I'm going to save that experience and some things that we can do to excel as we're learning new things. I'll save that for the next video. So the takeaway from this one is if you have an interest in something and you don't know anything about it, like I didn't with computers, take a look at what you can do to find out something about it. Talk to somebody who's doing it or get some training or read a book or something. Just move in that direction to learn a little bit more and a little bit more because there was never a baby born where the doctor said, well, this baby's going to be a network engineer or this baby's going to be a scientist. All of that is learned. Now, people have some skills and some gifts and all that, but most of what we do in our jobs and career are learned. And if you want to do something, look into it. That's my challenge for this video. So again, if you haven't already, subscribe. I've got a lot of great stories I'd like to share with you. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.